Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf. And we are here with Ares and Aquila and the pups. No, we don't <laughs> right now. Um, and I think they're all doing pretty well. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's getting harder to, uh, to simulate the in-between because apparently the AIs are not all that great of, at keeping pups alive. <laughs> uh, we had quite a few mishaps, but like I said, uh, if there's going to be any mishaps in this series, it's going to be something that happens on camera while we're actually playing and not randomly off screen in the meantime. So I'm not going to let anybody die while I'm doing the uh, fast forwarding. How is our food? We need some more food. So we're going to see if we can find some food. Is there... There's a carcass. There's no carcasses listed. Uh, but yeah, so if something happens, I want it to happen during the actual gameplay and not just be something that... Oh, by the way, everyone died while we were gone. Game is over. <laughs> so I'm not going to let anybody die while I'm simulating. Don't worry about that. If things happen, and hold on for a moment. I have to turn my music down because it is way too loud. I can't hear myself talking. <laughs> um, but if something's going to happen, I'm going to make sure it happens in the actual gameplay. I want it to be as a direct result and consequence of our actions and not just something that happens along the way. So do not worry. Uh, nothing bad will happen in the meantime, at least. At least at least while we're gone. If something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen while we're here. So I am pretty worried, though, because these guys do tend to, uh, to eat quite a bit, it seems. Um, and uh, they they can't really feed themselves. We ha They're still dependent on us bringing back food for them. So we have to be very careful about that. And I want to see if we can get this deer back towards the den, possibly. I think it's probably already run away from us, though. Yeah, it has. So we're going to go a little slower here. And hopefully everything will turn out okay. It is running quite a ways. But wait, there's like a deer on top of the den. Wow. Well, we're going to try for this one first, but if, if it becomes a problem, then we'll have to... um. We'll have to try for the other one, and we want to be kind of cautious about where we're approaching from because I think we came from upwind before, and that's generally not a good idea because then the prey will smell you. Oh, this is actually the one that was by the den, wasn't it? Isn't it? Okay. Let's sneak this way. Oh, there it is. I'm going to see. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. That one's really strong. I don't think we want to, we want, I don't think we want to deal with that one. Oh, I don't want to try again. No. I want to, I want to, um, I want to click on this one and see how that one's doing. They're both really strong. I'm not sure we're going to get either of those. So let's go back and we'll maybe try and catch this other deer over here if we can circle around behind it. I want to try and chase it as close to the den as possible so that we don't have to venture far away for food. Um, that would be nice. We also need some water, so maybe we'll get some of that on the way if we can. But yeah, we need to, um... We need to get some water if we and some uh, food if we can because we don't want bad things to happen here. Let's go ahead and we'll get a drink and hopefully that'll give us a little extra strength for the chase. And I mean there are plenty of rabbits if we really need them, but I'd rather not stick to rabbits if I can help it. Okay, we're leaving the territory so we want to be cautious. Any wolves we meet out here could be uh, from an enemy pack. And uh, hopefully we won't have problems with that. Is there... Okay, the deer is up here. And I think... Oh, did it, it, did it run away already? It's running. Oh, no. I didn't want to have to chase it this far from the territory. But we may have to. So there's also a beaver. Beavers are good food. Uh, we might want to try and make our way towards that beaver. Although that is quite far out of the territory. I'm not so sure. I, I don't know. Um, oh, we want to we want to make sure that it's staying off to that side of us. And in theory, let's make sure we keep using sight as well. I don't want to. I uh, don't want to run into a plane because I wasn't looking where I was going or something like that. So let's uh, keep heading this way, and it should. Okay, now it's off to the side. I see it. Let's click it and see. This one's going to be much more manageable. Okay, so what we need to do then is we need to scare it. Yeah, that way is good. We'll chase it this way. We'll let it... What? Oh, changing time of day. I was like, why did it stop? Did it freeze? But no, it's just changing the time of day. All right. 
So it's going to turn to night. We're going to keep following this deer. Because we definitely need some food. And we need to make sure the pups have food as well. So if we can sneak up this way, there's no wind, which is good. Because that means they won't be able to smell us that easily. And hopefully, I'm also watching to see if there's going to be other wolves showing up somewhere. Because if that happens, that's going to be a big problem. So let's try and creep down towards this deer like this. I think that'll be a good way of a... Uh... Okay, let's see how it... Okay, it's running the other way. Oh yeah, we should be able to take this guy out if we can catch up. We just need to... um. Just need to make sure that we're keeping up with it and keeping it on the run. All right, there we are. And we should be okay. Let's just keep following it. The strength of the wolf is its endurance. It can wear it can wear the prey down. And a lot of the time that can be what happens is where they'll just chase them and chase them and chase them. And eventually, uh-oh, we got to watch out for that wolf up there. But I think it's pretty far away. But eventually the prey gets too tired and the wolves can take it down. So wolves do have a lot of stamina. They can follow their prey over great distances. Uh, they don't always come after it all at once. All right, is that our den down there? It is. Okay, so that's the wolves there are going to be the ones at the den. And I think the deer might have run from some of them. So possibly Akila is helping us hunt. We've got to be kind of careful, though. So let's keep it moving. I think we should be okay. Okay, we're going to slow down now that we're getting closer. We can trot, but we don't want to full out run if we can help it because that will alert it sooner. Okay, I don't like when they come up that close. I'm going to actually try and circle it a little bit because then first of all, we can chase it towards the den. Second of all, we can come in from the side like this. Okay, oh, she's still faster than us. Okay, so we're going to slow down. She's not been worn out all that much, so we might have to... um. We might have to just keep circling her. And I think the pups had full food. So I think they should be alright. How are they still how are they doing? There, yeah, they're doing fairly well. So they, they seem to be fairly resilient in this. I think they're a little bit more resilient than the uh the wolf quest puppies are, <laughs> but they are also a little bit um there's it's also a completely different game, and so they have to be because the dynamics are different. All right, let's come up this way. There's a human, too. That's not what you want to see near the den. All right, we're going to run. She's still ahead of us, so we're going to we're going to keep following. We'll come down here again and try and cut her off. If we can keep circling around, we might be able to kill her right outside the den, which would be excellent. Um, where'd she go? She probably oh, that she's the one up there. Okay. And if we can circle around her, eventually we, she will run out of stamina and have to uh, have to slow down. Okay, how's this guy? Is he really strong? He's probably really strong. Yeah, he's a lot stronger. We're not going to mess with him. How's our own food doing? Um, it's it's getting to the point where it's it's not quite a dire situation, but we need to get some food in us as soon as possible, so that we're not going to sit and starve to death. So there is a human coming this way. Okay, we gotta go up towards it. All right, and then chase the deer, chase the deer, chase the deer. She's still fast. Oh goodness, we really need to get a bite in if we can. Let's keep doing this though. And I think if we keep chasing her back and forth like this, we'll be all right. Oh, she came down a little bit, okay. I think she maybe, she, oh yeah, we maybe just didn't go quite far enough, all right. We can do this, I'm gonna slow down a little. Because the trick is to drain her stamina without excessively draining ours. That's a uh, that's how we make this work. So let's come up here. There she is, and we run at her, and she's still really fast. All right, we got to keep keep cutting her off then, and just kind of chase her back and forth. All right, got to go a little further, little further. There we go. Oh, and it is daytime. And how we doing? Is everything okay? I think everything's all right. All right, there's a, another wolf way up there too. And we're not quite critical on food, but I would not complain if we could catch something pretty darn faster. You know what? We might have to, oh. This is a tough call to make because this deer is the closest thing we have. But I think I'm actually going to take a little bit of a little bit of a detour and run this way, 
because we need to catch something else to keep our own food up. Otherwise, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. So I think I'm going to run over here real fast and see if we can catch this beaver. Uh, I don't like straight up running if I can help it. But we really want to make sure we get this beaver because otherwise we're gonna we're gonna run out of food and we could starve and that would be a very bad thing so let's see if we can catch this guy these guys are easy to catch i really actually like the beavers in this they make it uh, they make they make for a pretty easy food source in a pinch so if we can uh, catch up to the, this guy over here that'd be really good all right there's a beaver down here if we can just sneak up on him. And we don't even really have to sneak. They're pretty slow. Although, is he in the water? I wonder what happens. I wonder if they can actually, like, disappear in the water. Okay. Can we get them? They're slow on land. Uh, they're actually not that much faster in the water. Okay. Yeah, once that happens, it's pretty much done. You, got, you can catch these guys pretty easy. They're uh, probably the easiest prey to hunt in this whole game, honestly. So, let's make our way back up here. I can still see the deer. And hopefully everything's alright. I'm hoping that Aquila will help feed the pups as well, so that we don't have to worry about them dying. Uh, I don't think they were down too much, but uh, it's still a lot better if we can uh, get them fed up as soon as possible. So let's run back up here. Oh, it's this deer, actually. Alright, this is the one we were after. I'm not going to sprint a whole lot, because it's much better if we can just take it a little at a time. And hopefully here, we can just make our way over here. Um, yeah, the deer is right up here. She's been coming this way. So we might be able to just spook her straight towards the den if we're cautious. And uh, we just gotta... Okay, what the wind direction is in our favor too, so that's good. All right, is she right up here? She should be. What is it telling you? Oh, it just activated some sense without Maya. The senses, the senses sometimes come on on their own as well, and uh, we'll we'll just trigger to let you know, hey, this is going on or whatever. Oh, she's limping. Oh, is she limping? Oh, yes, she is. Oh, so that makes a big difference. So we're gonna run down here. I'm going to attempt to circle her and cut her off, and because uh, the den is now up. So I wonder if Aquila took a, took a hunt after her too and maybe weakened her a little or if she's just been running so long that maybe she stumbled and fell or something and she's just getting a little bit tired and uh, not, not quite feeling the greatest. And uh, that's kind of what wolves will look for. They'll, uh, oh, I think we spooked her. They, they'll tend to look for the weaker prey, the ones that maybe aren't in tip-top shape, because that's going to be the safest for them and the easiest for them to take down. And so they actually keep their herds healthy like that. Uh, they'll make sure that, uh, so if there's an animal that's sick, and maybe it could be spreading its sickness, but its sickness is making it, uh, maybe it's not feeling the greatest, maybe it's not running the fastest, and uh, it, it's a little bit sickly, then the wolves are likely to uh, end up targeting that one, perhaps and could possibly help keep the sickness from spreading and could just keep the general population healthier or like if there's an animal that has a genetic disease or something oh she's slowing down quite a bit she's still outpacing us but uh she's definitely not uh not in tip-top shape but like okay let's say maybe there's an animal that's a little bit genetically weaker well if the wolves take that one out and hunt that one down and kill it then it's not going to be putting bad genes back into the gene pool so wolves are really important for an ecosystem because they help keep the population in check and of course it's not like a conscious decision it's not an oh this elk is sick i'm gonna kill this one it's more they're looking for a sign of weakness and then they'll go after the animals that uh, aren't able to to get away quite as easily. So she's definitely, um, oh, she's slowing up quite a bit. She's still running faster than us. Um, but if we can keep doing this, we can keep chasing her down like this. So you can see she's also not uh, running as far either. She's slowing down quite a bit. If we keep chasing her back and forth like this, then that'll be really, really good. Oh, she's right here. And I'm going to slow up because we're still not catching up to her. But we got to keep her just running back and forth. And if we expend her energy before... Or if she expends her energy before we expend ours, then that'll be good for us. 
Um, and that'll be the time when we can take her down because she's definitely a lot slower than she used to be. This is taking an uncomfortably long time though. And I'm getting a little worried about uh, hopefully the pups won't run out of food in the meantime. How is our stamina? It's still there, but uh, it is kind of draining slowly. And she's right down here. All right. Let's see how close we can get if the day could change a little bit more slowly. <laughs> or if the day could not change right now. Oh, and it is the change of the moon as well. All right. Oh, nope. She's still faster than us. We're going to have to get up as close as we can to her, I think. And there's also a human, but uh, he seems to be quite far away. So I think we'll be all right. All right, we need to... Okay, she is below us. Let's just kind of scooch up a little bit. It would be good. Oh, oh, we need, you know what? We need some more water too, because we need to make sure we keep our own health up for this because we don't want to, we don't want to get there and then have too low health to actually do any damage. All right, let's come down here. I'm going to try and land a bite because I think if we can land a bite on her just by being real cautious, then I think that'll be, that'll be game over for her. She's still outrunning us. Okay, we really need to uh, get back and... We really need to feed the pups. <laughs> um, oh, goodness. Okay. So how are we doing compared to the den? We're a little ways off yet, but not too far. Okay. So she's now down below us. I think that's a loner because we're still in our own territory. So if that loner gets too close, we may have to go chase it off. Okay, she's right there. If we're careful, we can maybe sprint. Nope, we can't quite catch her. Oh, nope. Okay, we gotta get really, really close. And uh, that's gonna be difficult, I think. Um, I don't know if she can get any more worn out. We might have to call, um, we might have to call Akila to help us. Because this is a pretty uh this is gonna be pretty sorry the music changed I, th I felt like the music changed and i was kind of trying to listen to it but I, this might be kind of difficult to do on our own oh, okay oh she's running oh no she's definitely getting closer all right i'm gonna oh she's slowing down i'm gonna just keep sprinting there we go oh she stopped okay i'm gonna keep sprinting because i think this might be the time when we may be able to uh to overtake her if we can just keep up the momentum. Oh, she's running that way. There's another wolf there that I think she's trying to avoid. So she's gone this way. She's up here. We're still staying close to her and, oh, can we get her? Can we get her? I think we may have her. I think we may have got her. Okay, oh, good. Here we go and we have her down. That's another deer down. So these guys, you really have to have, you got to keep up the stamina for them. Otherwise, uh, it can be, otherwise it can be a little bit difficult to, um, to bring them down. But if you can keep up the stamina and you just can sprint after them for a long period of time, eventually they will have to slow down and you'll be able to take them out. So that's good to know. I'm going to bring this back to the den here. Oop, and, um, I think I hit the wrong key. Um, I'm going to actually, I'm going to take again. I hit take and uh, then I think I hit bark and I think it deleted my, um, <laughs> I think it deleted the prey I had, or maybe I just hit eat. Oh, did I hit eat or did I hit take? It's supposed to, there's two different keys. There's one to eat and then there's one to grab food after. So there we have food after. So let's not hit bark now. All right. And that should fill our food up to full. All right. And now we have some food. I meant to I meant to hit um the N for nose, but I hit B for bark, I think. So let's come back here. We're gonna bury this so that we have it right by the den if we need it. And I think we should be pretty good. It's nice that we have so much water right here. So let's make sure we get back here. Here is the den. I think we'll uh we'll bury this here. And then we'll go feed the pups and make sure everybody's alright. How hungry are they? Um, they're, they're all right. They're not, they're not great, but they're all right. <laughs> so I think, I think that we got it just in, in time. That's a pretty timely, pretty timely manner. And these guys are, of course, one month old now. Uh, you've probably seen that when we've checked on some of them. 
And so basically what we'll be doing is we'll be continuing to time skip one month. And so we'll have, I believe, seven episodes of caring for these guys before we can find out if, if this is how far the litter has made it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and there we go. Okay, we're going to regurgitate for them. And they'll get to come eat the food and uh, they should be good. So now they should be up to full health and uh, just in the nick of time. That worked out perfectly. So let's uh, let them eat, and they seem to be doing pretty well. They're so cute. I, even for the pixel, it's really, really cute. So they can eat, and they should be up at full now. Yep, and I think we're going to actually go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.